I can't think straight, I can't concentrate. Feels like I'm seeing double. You're on my mind, deep in my heart. I think you're taking no Hey guys, what's up? My name's Renee, and welcome to my New York City apartment. All right, so we are starting here at the entryway. So this is my door. Got myself a nice little New York City city map so I know how to navigate the city. Here is the entryway. Made it super cozy for you guys. My favorite time of day in this apartment is the nighttime. So here we go. Do a little span for you guys. Got the fireplace on. My favorite spot in the apartment, hands down, is this entryway. To me, it just really screams New York. It has so many different patterns and art and like masculine energy. This wallpaper is from Anthropology and this painting I actually got on Amazon. I'll link everything that I can. The majority of the stuff in the apartment is linked in the original apartment tour, which I'll put on the screen right now for you guys. I'm just gonna show you guys like some of my favorite staples, but um, this piece here is really, really nice. It kind of almost reminds me of the 70s, and when you pop it with this really dark wallpaper, it just really brings out all the masculine energy, which I'm just, like I said, obsessed with. Um, I have some prints from Society6 here. I have some books here, like staple pieces, and this is actually a wax warmer for my friend, and I love it so much. It smells so good. And then, of course, we have the keys and stuff, <laughs> and masks. Who would have thought? Two years later, we still are dealing with masks, but, um, yeah, and then over here we have a nice big full-length mirror to open up the space. You can really see this part over here, and it just looks like it continues this way, even though it doesn't. I actually moved my couch. I used to have it facing the window because I really wanted to keep the focal point as like the cityscape. I don't want to like dismiss it in any way. The people that had this apartment before actually had their couch facing the kitchen. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to look at the kitchen. I want to look at the view. So we actually moved it this way because it really does open up the space a lot more. Before we had no space here in the living room and I just think it looks really nice. And you can still like lay here. My TV's over here so you can still see the view. And then of course my faux plant here. This is from Amazon as well that's always on every single night we got this rug here this is a giant rug um honestly it doesn't go all the way out but it doesn't really matter because over here in the living room it just makes it really nice and warm and cozy i have my dining table over here both sides actually flap down so it creates even more space got the flowers out for you guys nice candle and then of course this dining table lamp, which is like my favorite. I hooked it up to Alexa, so we changed the dimness of the lights and pretty much all the lights in the apartment are dimmed right now to add a very cozy vibe. I have another one here in the kitchen. This one's on 20% and then this one is on 40%. Now, originally I had a wine cooler here and it just didn't really look good. I wanted to create a very warm environment, so I bought this plant, which is actually a real plant from a company in the city, and it really just adds a nice little touch here to an otherwise very boring wall. It was just like very white over here. Standing in my kitchen, this is the view that we have going on. I feel so warm and cozy. And then behind me, we have the giant kitchen, which doesn't really change much during the day to nighttime. Here's what you guys are here for, the city view. I'm gonna turn off the lights for you guys so that you can see the city view a little bit better. I'm standing on my couch right now, so excuse the noise, it's a leather couch, but this is the view of New York City that I get from my living room. You can see the Empire State Building over there. Sometimes there's like a star over there. I don't know which one it is. Could be like a planet, honestly, like Saturn. <laughs> I don't even know, but yeah, very beautiful view over here. It's really interesting, especially at night, to see everyone's little lives and all these little squares. And then when you go this way, there's even more city. You got cars and traffic down there. And then over here, you have more people's apartments that you can stalk. My friend Haley used to live in one of these and I was just like always stalking her. <laughs> but 
we enjoyed it and the building goes all the way up so we're gonna span over to the right where my office and my bedroom is located I'm gonna start over by my desk area. So here is my desk. Again, it's facing out towards the view, of course, because that's the whole reason of this apartment. So yeah, I have this little nook here um, in the little corner hallway area, if you will. And then over here, I actually added this fireplace. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I can find another like dupe on Amazon. I also have my skylight here for you guys. This is one of my favorite things ever. It makes your apartment look like you have a universe on your ceiling and it's so cozy guys. And this is my staple wall. I had a lot of fun with this one actually. Again, I want it to be very dark and masculine. So I painted the walls with, I think it's called deep blue or something. If not, I'll pop it here on the screen for you guys. It's a very dark, like midnight blue. And then I wanted, again, dim lights. So these two are actually on the Alexa right now and they're at 20%. The bed itself is from West Elm. Um, sheets are West Elm. And then I'm pretty sure the blanket and the throw is West Elm as well. And side tables, like literally everything is from West Elm. Um, except these giant windows. These are windows. They're mirror windows. Window mirrors. I don't even know what they call it, but they're like this giant arched window on Amazon that I got. I got two. I really like it because it really reflects the cityscape. So it again, looks like a continuation and it really opens the space. I hung up these little lights here from Amazon. They give a really nice cozy ambiance. And then this whole shelf area is Amazon and Society6 is where the paintings are from, but I put a lot of different like little artsy stuff and like fake succulents and more string lights up there. I just really love this wall. I just think it does it for me. It's so cozy. And then I also painted this wall as well. This one is just some random wall here. So you have like two sides of the view and I wanted this to also be a staple. I didn't want this to go unnoticed. And then I also painted this wall here, which is just my closet area as well to create a very like separate space from the living room. And then over here, we have my little reading nook. We actually call this the cloud. Um, all this stuff is pretty much Amazon and Urban Outfitters. I did a video about this where I linked everything as well. So I'll pop that on the screen. This was actually Noah's idea. He thought it would be cool to just sit down on the floor and drink coffee. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cozy. Again, we are taking advantage of the view, especially this little corner nook here. And we literally sit here all the time. So now I'm gonna turn off all the lights and we shall see the view with no lights on. So here is what you see coming from the living room. There's actually no door. So this is called an alcove studio. So there's separate spaces, just no door. You get the benefits of a one bedroom, but the price of a studio, it's really great. So this is what I see from my desk. Again, you got the Empire State Building over there. This is really cool too, especially during like rush hour. I always like to see lots of cars down there. I know when my day is it's supposed to end. <laughs> and then this is what you guys came here for. So I'm standing all the way in the corner of my bedroom. And then these windows go up, 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 up. This is literally why I bought the apartment. The views are just stunning. I'm gonna turn the brightness down a little bit so you can see like more of the city. It's really cool. This is why I love New York. Just, you cannot beat the views, you know? It's just so stunning. I remember the first night I ever spent the night here, I was just staring. I could not stop staring outside. It was just, I was in awe. And you never really get sick of the view. At least not me. I know some people get sick of views, but I really don't. And then over there is the Hudson in New Jersey. And you can span all the way down there to the Hudson. It is really, really cool. So I'm gonna go lay down on my bed. I sleep on this side of the bed, obviously, because I get this little space stare at it's really cool and then you can see over here this is my view when I am sleeping on my right side so back in my living room over here to the left is where my bathroom is 
it is again very dark which i love it's like a little cave in here i got a little plant over there my um what's this called hamper my door actually doesn't open all the way i can move this into like a hallway but honestly i don't really like it when the door opens all the way because when you're in the living room if this door is open all the way you can see straight to the toilet and it's just really gross so i kind of like it like this honestly and for all my storage stuff in new york you have to really find creative ways to store your stuff because all i have is this and then one drawer here <laughs> so um i had to get a little bit creative so i bought this this is from amazon it's like a little sliver of storage um i store all of my toilet paper in here actually it's kind of cool you just pop the toilet paper here out at the bottom and then this opens up so i have all this storage there's like a little mirror in here and then this one actually does not open up so that's cool um so i also bought this little standing drawer cabinet situation um and then this is actually from target i thought it matched perfectly and then i love looking at people's <laughs> showers i don't know why but especially when they're like really dark like this i just find it so cozy and then i have a little rainfall spout um and then i also put in this thing so this is like a really long i needed a really long one standing organizer for my shower and it just makes sure that nothing is like here i hate when there's like tons of clutter on the tub because i take a lot of baths i have a little bath tray here my bath <laughs> pillow is in the back here i actually put this here this is actually a stick on little hook where i just store my little facial towel and then i also put two here on the back one and two this one came but um again creative with the storage i'm gonna do a little quick walk through here with you guys guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope you got some cozy vibes like i said anything that i mentioned will be linked down below 
um, and then every single thing in this apartment I'm pretty sure is linked in my apartment tour video and then the reading nook is the only thing that was missing in that apartment tour so I'll leave both of those videos down below as well I remember sitting in my Florida apartment working like three jobs i know that a lot of you guys probably watching are watching for inspo or motivation and i feel like a lot of the times when i used to watch people's videos like this i would get really down and feel discouraged because i wasn't really where i wanted to be in life but i started with pretty much nothing and i built my youtube channel to attain this i had a goal in mind and i know a lot of you guys watching probably feel the opposite and feel somewhat of a spark of excitement because you feel like you can attain it and let me tell you when you have that mindset I promise you that you'll get there you just really have to want it and crave it and work your ass off to get it and it's so attainable I see so many different people in this building and they all do so many different things and it's really cool to see everyone you know attain something like this um, which was a dream of mine for so long like I never would have thought if you told me a couple years ago you were going to live in this apartment because I knew I wanted this apartment I actually had seen a youtuber live in this apartment like three years ago and I myself wasn't even a full-time youtuber like I was not anywhere near being able to afford this and I just really knew what I wanted and I worked really hard towards it and I got it so I hope that this encourages you guys I hope that this shows you that dreams do come true this isn't like daddy's money this is not something that was handed to me I worked really hard to be able to live here and um yeah it, it's really really inspirational to see um where I came from and I just want you guys to know that you guys can get there as well, whatever your dreams are. You don't have to be a YouTuber at all. There's so many other cooler jobs, <laughs> I promise. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon.